got some Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> and by some, I mean a lot of cubes. <laughs> Let me just put all these back in the box. <laughs> so, hey guys. <laughs> Hello, it's me. It's River back here, and yeah, I got a ton of Rubik's Cubes. Like, a lot, a lot of cubes. So, like, how about we just get started with those? Let's just push all those off to the side real quick. Alright, so let's get started with this. So, first, I have the Two by two. Which, of course, I mean, it's a two by two. Nothing more to say about it. Except that I created my very own um, method for solving this. I call it BTS. bottom top sides so what I do is I solve the bottom and then and then I use a couple of algorithms to um to get to get the top like that that's yellow and then I just solve the rest of the cube like Just by quarter flipping a lot. There we go, and then see. So yeah, pretty dang easy. And now let's get on to the three by threes. So this was my first three by three. So this is the GAN three fifty six R. the GAN 356R, and it's not bad. It, this was the cube that I learned to solve with. I do use like a fairly inefficient method. I just use like the simplest method. There we go. Now. I'm not the best cuber at all. So yeah, there's that. And then here's my main. And you're probably wondering why there isn't a white on it. But that's because I took it off. Now it's just black. So yep, I just took off the white side. I took off the white side. And uh, yeah, nothing too much more to say about this one. Except that I like it more than this this one all right so let's get that one out of there let's put that one back in the box along with the two by two as usual let me actually get these two out of the box so now we have my four by four which i actually don't know how to solve most of these cubes, I'm definitely a beginner cuber, so just wait. Wait for the 4x4 and 5x5 solves. I will get there eventually, but definitely not this one. We'll get to this one in a sec. Trust me, this one's really crazy. So, uh, yeah, nothing much more to say about this 4x4, except that, well, it's a 4x4. And it's a 4x4. 
And now we have a 5x5. Five five, which, just like the 4x4, four four, there isn't anything more to say about it, except that it's a 5x5. Five, five five. Yeah. The mirror cube. You can actually see the webcam data being recorded on. But, uh, yeah, this cube is really friggin' weird. Really weird. It's a mirror cube. And, and like, a lot of people think that, like, this cube is, like, already solved. But, like, when it comes, yeah. But, I mean, it's the same color. But the, but the shape? Nah. It's not. Cause it does this. <laughs> All right, that one goes in the box. Now, Pyraminx. I've I've mostly learned this one. I've mostly learned it. I know how to do the bottom layer. How to do the bottom layer, but uh, yeah. That's that, use the ball bearings for that, and there we go. Now, Ivy Cube! This one is just so much fun to just mess around with. I, see. I also do not, don't quite know how to solve this one. I'm close though. Like, I have the right idea of how to solve it, I just don't know exactly how. So I'm getting a little bit close. But uh, yeah, I definitely know I have the right idea for it. So uh, yeah, there's the Ivy Cube. Now we have the Scube. It's really, really cool. Once again, snaps into place with ball bearings. Now, Mega Banks. Yeah, this thing just barely turns. It locks up so much. It's just meh. Because it is a dodecahedron, but still, like, you should be able to turn it when it. When it's like this. You should be able to turn it when it's turned just that little bit, but it just locks up. You have to turn other layers until you can turn. You have to turn, like, every single layer until you can turn that one layer you want it to turn. And so that brings us to our final cube. The one you've all been waiting for, this. This is the windmill cube. Yes. Look at what it does. It's kind of like the ghost cube, but not. <laughs> it's like, look what this thing does. It's like, you turn it like that, it turns like this. Like at first, it's like, eh, it's not that bad, right? But then, like, once you start getting weird, it gets weird, weird. Uh, yeah. There's that. And. Three by three. There it is. And. So those are all my Rubik's Cubes as of the beginning of 2020. I'm gonna do one more solve. I'm gonna do another quick solve with the, with the two by two, then I'm out.
see you guys in the next vid z dog